Hey guys, this is SH, and welcome back to some more Terraria Solo Style. This is actually another adventure map called Mage's Quest, made by, well, I'm just going to call him Tack, and, uh, because I can't pronounce the other thing, I'll put it up for you right here. And in the description below is a link to the thread where the map is available for you to download. So yeah, this is a heavy magic-based, uh, map, and there's just more progression and everything like that, just kind of like the Zelda map, but just kind of different style. Um, from what I know so far about this map, it is kind of like a role-playing map more so, and it kind of, um, has, like, more story than the other one kind of would have had, the other one being the Zelda map. So, let's get started. Let's see what this sign says. Welcome to my custom map, Mage's Quest. Rules, no breaking blocks, only use the dirt rod on corrupted grass in obvious circumstances. Follow the path, create a brand new character, and leave starting equipment in the basement chest. Using every bed is highly recommended as walking through the map after death isn't as fun as respawning near your death point. Have fun! Well, let's just, just do it. Oh, we can't do it. Okay. As you wake up, you smell the thick stench of corrupted bacon. Heading downstairs, you notice the walls of the kitchen are strange and pulsing of evil. You see no signs of your uncle, Perry Hotter, <laughs> who was meant to be training you in the art of magic. Looking around, you realize the corruption will claim the entire house soon, and begin to find an escape. Ooh, ooh. Well, I already left all that stuff. There's that stuff. There's there. Let's see what this sign up here says. You feel a draft coming from the attic roof, and notice some tiles are loose. You hold your staff high and aim at the ceiling, dislodging the loose tiles. It's in this chest. Ah, okay, so here we go. Here's all our stuff. Got dirt rod, water bolt, a robe, and a wizard hat, and a band of star power. Because this map is highly just magic based and everything like that, you want to be all up to snuff on that. So this is what it's talking about with the obvious circumstances, I believe, is you just use the dirt rod right here to move dirt out of the way. This is actually the first time I've ever used it. Oh, whoa. That's pretty neat. No, I didn't. I did check that. Okay, yeah. There was nothing in that chest down below besides, like, picks and stuff like that. That are just... What the, how come I can't... Oh, that... Stupid dirt getting in my way. Well, it doesn't look like we can go over that way. Onward! Ugh, this stuff. I hate it. I hate it so much. It makes me want to rage. That was bad. That was a bad impression of raging. I can't even... I rarely rage, so I don't know. Like, already expelled all my mana. Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, well, we're down here now. Well, how about we use this thing? Oh, we can't. Well, jeez. I guess I'm stuck just waiting for my manas. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Boop. <laughs> uh, that seems like a legit, like, that. I don't think that he cares about that. Well, he cares about dirt. Okay. Let's see what this sign says. What's in here, actually? Nature's gift, equipable, spawns with max life and mana after death. Hey, cool. That's a neat little thing. Got... A healing potion, a lesser mana potion, a lesser resto potion, and a lesser mana potion. That's another one. Okay. What does this say? As you proceed down the cave, you notice a small room made with similar material, material to your uncle's home. You realize he must have come this way, and he has left you with some helpful items in this chest inside. Viewing your surroundings, you decide it would be a good idea to rest here. Boop. Rested! Let's do this! I need to go save Harry Potter. I mean, Perry Hotter. Whoa. Whoa, man. Whoa. I don't have any way of lighting up stuff, I don't think. Unless I, like, totally, totally just shoot a thing. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Shot it. Ooh, this is cool. Wow, there's another bed already? <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. 
The blue bricks of this cave seem to be very old, almost ancient, but the wooden room seems a lot more modern. You notice the chest that contains a small crystal heart and is a brilliant and S brilliant blue star. A brilliant blue star, probably. Similar to the ones you found in the attic. The fall below you seems very deep, and your gut tells you that you will not be coming back up. Okay. So, it's just kind of like easing you into everything. Hey, an aqua scepter. That's sweet. Uh, we're going to use those, and the lucky horseshoe. Progression! <laughs> Whee! Uh. Yeah. Take it, slimes. Perry, where are you? Perry Hotter. You're, you're my uncle. <laughs> How did he get up there? Does he have magic? He was like, Wingardium Leviosa, and then he, he did it on himself. He was like, boo, and floated up there. Or he had an anti-gravity potion or whatever. Whatever, man. Ah! Uh, hey, a sign. No! Ooh, I should heal. Or I should not, because I can spawn with full health. A wall of ebon stone laced with spikes blocks the path, but the barrier seems man-made. Someone is guiding you. Uh, I do not like this. Oh. Ooh. Let's see. What kind of noise would Harry Potter make when he jumps? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even going to try. You guys will just laugh at me. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go! Can I get up there? Oh crap. I fell again. Man. All my Zelda skills going to waste on my Zelda map skills. Hey, a chest. Nice. Let's see what's inside. A lesser healing potion. Two restos. A uh, lesser mana potion. And uh, lots of lots of mana potion. I'm actually gonna heal. I don't wanna have to go back. Let's see. Ooh, Aqua Scepter! In your face! Durr. Yeah. Huh. Having to light the way with this spell is kind of annoying. But, you know. I'll allow it. Just this time. Ah, piranha! Ooh, spooky! Oh, I didn't even notice the. Oh, I'm out of mana! Ah. Ah. Oh no! Oh, uh, just keep going to the right. It'll work out. Oh no, it won't! It'll not work out! Ah! Resto potion. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, guys. Let's get to the lighted area. Whoa, whoa. Let's wait for this slime then. Yeah, take it. Oh crap. Oh crap. Wow. Well then. Oh, that's just, that's just balls. <laughs> that sucks. That's okay, though. We'll get back there in no time. <laughs> oh my god, not if I am doing this. Not if I suck. God, this is going to be one of those maps, guys, isn't it? We're going to get back. we got to get back. Ooh, a skeleton. Die! I spray you! You know what I should do? Just, you know what? Screw... Screw walking around in the dark. Ah, oh, I already just screwed that up. You know what? Whatever. I do not know... I did not read all the rules to the map. Maybe I should read all the rules before I... Just, like, start doing whatever I want. I don't know. What's the fun in that? <laughs> uh, yeah. How about this? I'll, I'll go, I'll read the rules to all you guys too, so you know all the rules. So one sec, I'm going to grab the rules, and then we're going to read them together. 
Alright, there is only three rules. I do believe they were all on the sign. I checked the thread to make sure that there was actually... If there was any more rules or anything like that. So basically the only rules are still no destroying any blocks. So no pickaxes basically. Except for you can use the dirt rod, but it says only in obvious places. But what I'm thinking about is... I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys right now. Crap, man. Okay, whatever. We'll go up this way. <laughs> just here. I'm just going to grab a torch. I don't even care. I'll grab a torch and have it like this. That way I can just like see where I am half the time. Because some of the time it's just like, what? But as long as I have this, I'm in like way better shape. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Sprayed in the face. In the face. Ah. I don't want it, Mother Slime. Go away. Just running from light source to light source. Alright. This is my my enemy. Uh, uh. Yes. Oh, crap. No. Okay. Oh, my God. Here we go. Yes. Yes. These are actually harder, because if they were one lower, it would be a lot easier. But since they're right there next to it, you guys know already that the f the um, the amount of distance you can jump is actually not what it says. Oh my god! <gasps> Skeletoned. There we go. <sighs> yeah. Yeah! Much better. But I didn't see a rule that says you could pick up a torch, so... There's that. <laughs> All right. But let's see. What does this sign say? You sense a presence of pure evil beside you. Two claw-like tablets mark the proximity of a shadow orb. Old tales tell you that shadow orbs are the cause of the corruption. Out of desperation, you decide to destroy it. Using the musket is okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. We made it to another place. Huzzah! Oh, mana crystals, an orb of light, magic missile, your rudimentary magic spell of awesome. Magic missile, wooden hammer. Sweet. Alright, well, let's use all this stuff. Because we might as well. Alright. Boom. Let's destroy this sucker. Musket! Yeah! Said it was okay! I'm the mage who, with a gun! Now actually, wait a second. I want to check something real quick. Before we go all the way up there and just keep on going. I want to go down and make sure that this isn't some place you need to go. Or is this just... Whoa. Yeah. Okay. It's just... It's just a wall barrier of things. Oh god. Worm, where are you? Ah! Gotcha. <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of here. Huh. Yeah. Torched. Well, at least I have this now. So I guess technically I didn't even really need the torch for that long. I always forget about the ball of light, though. It's just one of those things. Let's keep on going. Cut. Taking this. I don't even care. Corruption. This this land is so corrupt. We must cleanse it. Oh my. Whoa, whoa. The meteorite has landed. Hopefully that didn't destroy any key parts of this quest. Or I'm gonna be super pissed. Whoa. Oh god, I ran out. Gun! Yeah. Whoa. Die. Huh. Oh no! Good thing I have the horseshoe. Precision platforming. In your face. Musket in your face. There we go. I'm actually going to run out of 
bullets really soon. I should really switch back to the water scepter. Water scepter's OP. Let's see. All right, here we go. This is where we gotta jump. We. Oh, that was close again. Huh. Get out of my face, little eater. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Ah. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Can I even get that there? No. I think it wants me to jump down to there. So let's do it. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, okay. Good. Let's get over. Let's get over there. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Oh. Regen. There we go. It's like exactly. Gotta do it just right. Just right. Let's go. Hey, another demon orb. Yes, we made it. A chill goes down your spine as it, as you see the amount of flying monsters in the sky. And you know you need to find safety if you are to survive before too many creatures arrive. Okay. We're not going that way. Looks like we're going this way. Uh, ah, ah. This is what the sign was warning me about. Yeah. All right. Use the hammer here. Just kind of like pound this stuff. Get out of my way. Um. Guess I gotta jump it. I mean, what is going? On? Well, there goes all my mana. I gotta figure out what to do. Jump! Precision! Okay. I didn't know if I could make that or not. It's just at the top of my... Wow, that's a lot of those guys. Let's drink that potion. Am I out of potions now? No, I got I got some restos as well. But ideally, I want to save the restoration ones, I'm assuming. For whatever lies ahead! That's just... That's just good... Good, uh, oh, whoa. Oh, it's like, oh, I was just like, the leg all of a sudden. It was weird, it was wigging me. Oh, that's a spike. Alright. Whoa. Falling star! We made it to the new house! Whew! Spawn point set! Haha, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay guys, that's it for this episode of Mage's Quest. We'll be back really soon with some more. Be sure to leave a comment down below and thumbs up the video if you liked it. If you want to see some more, don't be afraid to ask. Take it easy guys.